The grizzly bear is a population or subspecies of brown bears that lives in North America. It is often referred to as the North American brown bear or just the grizzly. Other phenotypic variations of brown bears in North America, aside from the mainland grizzly, are occasionally classified as grizzly bears. These include the Kodiak bear and the peninsular grizzly, two extant populations, as well as the extinct California, Mexican, and Ungava Labrador grizzly populations. Grizzly bears in the interior are often smaller and larger than those along the coast. Although it's no more closely related to North American brown bears than other subspecies of the brown bear commonly found around the world, the Usuri brown bear, which lives in Russia, northern China, Japan, and Korea, is an occasionally referred to as the black grizzly. We visit Denali National Park in the tail. Denali, the tallest peak in North America, is the focal point of Denali National Park and Preserve. You probably won't see too many cold-blooded species in the park because there aren't any reptiles and only one known kind of frog. The rivers and creeks easily accessible from the park road are poor habitats, and fish are also rarely found there. The majority of the fish in Denali are found in the far western regions, where rivers deepen and silt pushed off the slope has had time to settle rather than clouding the water. Luckily, visitors may catch a glimpse of some of the most famous huge creatures, including grizzly and black bears, as well as wolves, caribou, moose, and dolls' sheep. Arctic ground squirrels, red squirrels, foxes, and marmots are a few of the smaller creatures that are more frequently sighted. In this story, our victim also got a glimpse of one of these mammals. It was a grizzly bear, but uh, I guess he wasn't that lucky to get the look. Denali National Park has more than 4 million acres of unspoiled wilderness and is located 240 miles north of Anchorage. This is precisely what brought 49-year-old Richard White to the region and stoked his passion for taking stunning wildlife pictures. Richard had at last carried out his ideal getaway scheme. He'd even attended the required bear awareness training and he loaded his rucksack with all the required supplies. Richard went to Denali filled out all the necessary papers, and declared that he had over 30 years of backpacking experience. Given the information on his documentation, officials weren't very concerned, and they gave him a five-day guest pass. Richard set off on his own and began taking in the sights and the sound of the countryside right away. When he was eventually left alone in the wilderness, he couldn't help but take photos of the scenery, the moose, the bears, the salmon, and an almost limitless array of stunning skylines. Richard was strolling along the picturesque Toklat River on the third day, taking in the freedom, the clear skies, and the fresh air. Rainy and chilly, but most importantly inviting, was the August weather. Three miles south of the road, Richard spotted a brown blob in the distance, moving slowly across some willow close to the river. He got closer to the animal and realized it was a grizzly bear, also referred to as a brown bear. Through his hiking excursions, he encountered numerous brown bears without ever having an issue, so he made the decision to take an approach and get a closer look. The bear appeared to be unaware of Richard's presence when the shutter made a soft click. Richard observed the bear munching on greens in the riparian area next to the river. Richard closed the gap to within around 50 yards, while the bear continued to be unaware of him. Even though he was taking great pictures of the world's most dangerous land predator, he'd made a mistake. The next day, three hikers were traveling through Denali on the path where they came across an unusual sight. The hikers first noticed a bag lying on the trail. After that, they noticed some torn up clothing a short distance off the trail. They noticed a scene where the grass and plants were all disturbed. And finally, they discovered the blood. The group had hastily returned to the road to seek assistance after realizing that there had been a bear attack. It only took the park rangers around two and a half hours to arrive at the location by helicopter after the hikers raised the alarm. As they flew over the area, they saw a lone grizzly bear protecting what appears to be a food stockpile. They quickly landed their aircraft and discovered Richard's remains, partially eaten by the bear right away. As the men got close to the kill scene, the bear took off, but it later came back to attack the recovery team. The bear started to meticulously circle them, appearing to be on the lookout for weaknesses as the rangers carefully observed. As the day was waning and the bear was asserting his claim to the body, they decided to back up and try a retrieval on another day. 
On that Saturday, they came back and found Richard's body and any items they could. Richard's bloodstained camera was among the things that they discovered. The rangers discovered beautiful shots, one after the other, after looking over the camera's pictures. The last few photos were of the bear, and with each shot, it appeared like the guy and the beast were getting closer and closer together. The last few pictures were the most informative. For the first time in the series, the bear was seen staring directly at the camera as he was captured getting closer to him. Authorities killed the bear and performed a necropsy on the animal. The bear that murdered and consumed Richard White was identified through his stomach contents. The official report states that the grizzly bear that murdered a lone hiker in Denali National Park on Friday seems to be completely unconscious of the man taking pictures from about 40 yards away for almost the entire time. Pete Webster, the chief park ranger, said on Sunday, certainly too close. The bear appeared to pay attention to him for only the last few seconds, according to National Park Service authorities who based their judgment on photo timestamps. He shot 26 images of the bear with his digital camera over a period of seven and a half minutes. In the more than 90 years of records for Denali, it was the first fatal bear mauling. The bear was killed by gunfire on Saturday by Alaska wildlife troopers because it was found wearing White's clothes and other items connected to him during an analysis of his stomach contents. Park officials claim that they're confident it was the perpetrator. Webster stated, We know for sure that the animal we killed is the bear who attacked that hiker. I'm sure that no other bear is involved, he said. According to the backpacker's father, Byron White, Richard traveled whenever he could take time off from business and he had previously visited Denali. He was in the midst of transitioning to a new company, according to Byron White, who worked as a pharmacology director for San Diego's Faring Pharmaceuticals until last year. Byron White remarked that the man had a tremendous zest for witnessing these occurrences in the world and engaging with individuals all across the globe. In these isolated locations, he also enjoyed hiking alone. He liked being outside in the woods. According to the report, White was married and he had a little kid. Now, this was a complete tragedy, but who can you blame for it? It was certainly Richard's own fault. He was the one who dug his own grave. As the official said, he should have maintained his distance. So, if someday you happen to spot a bear, click pictures if you want to, but please, please keep a safe distance.